Hello, I'm Firepug. If you guys are new, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Apex Legends has been doing a new update on mobile, a little Watson buff that's totally random and out of the blue, and at the end, we'll have our hot topic as always. So, I want to start off with how Apex Legends is doing. Apex Legends has been doing very well. The Season 10 launch went very smooth, very smooth. S servers worked, everyone could play the game right away except for Xbox, but it, it worked later. They had to wait like half an hour, 45 minutes. Everything other than that, it went super smooth. The servers worked, which is huge because there's a lot of hype built up. I'm sure a lot of you have seen, if you've been anywhere near social media regarding Apex Legends lately, a lot of big streamers have been coming over to Apex Legends, some of these being Courage, Faze Nick Mercs, Tim the Tatman, XQC played a little bit, and others as well. This has been generating a lot of popularity on streaming platforms for Apex Legends. On Twitch, Apex Legends broke 400,000 viewers. It hasn't done that since the very launch of the game. This is huge. Hopefully this translates to more players and more growth for Apex Legends. And these big streamers that are playing out the game for the very first time in a really, really, really long time, Courage, Nick Merckx, Tim the Tatman, they absolutely love it. They're super addicted. They've been loving the rank grind. They've been loving every minute of it. And it's been super fun to watch them play as well. They've been getting really good at the game really fast. It's crazy to see how like they went from an average player to a really good player. I mean, these big streamers are absolutely loving the game. It's super fun to watch them play as well. But the big streamers are not the only ones loving the game. EA is also loving the game. And that is because of the money Apex Legends has been generating. Apex Legends is a great game with a big player base. And that means some big money. And the popularity for Apex Legends has only been growing. Look at this. EA generated just about a billion dollars from live service games in the last quarter without performance driven by Apex Legends. Apex Legends has been doing a lot for EA financial wise which means a lot of support is going to be coming from EA back to Respawn which is really good because the more money re or e Respawn's game makes for EA the more support EA is going to give Respawn to keep making that game better. So we're going to be seeing more in Apex Legends because of this and maybe even more out of Respawn. Maybe a new FPS game out of Respawn as well. It'd be super exciting to see. I'm sure it's not going to be Titanfall 3 but still it's really good to see Apex Legends doing very well in EA acknowledging that. In another tweet from Apex Legends News, we see that EA has says Apex Legends Mobile will be rolling out later this year. They also add that this can mean the financial year, which runs until April 2022, which is in quite some time, but it's still over a like less than a year from now, we'll probably be having Apex Legends on our phones mobile already. It's crazy to think. I mean, it seems like it's completely come out of nowhere. If you haven't seen any of the Apex Legends mobile gameplay yet, it actually does look pretty good. You'd be surprised how smooth it runs. It actually looks great. And this is going to be super fun and exciting as well. All this means is just more growth for Apex Legends, which is always good to see. Next, let's talk about this little Watson buff. So, as it turns out, you load into any arena's game as Watson as your character, you will spawn with 30 fences to use as your tactical. Just a little bit of a buff for Watson mains out there. You can also buy more on top of this. Now this has been all over. Everyone's seen this. All the devs have seen it. And I'm sure they're already working on a fix for this totally random bug. But it's still pretty crazy. And yes, you can load into any arena's game regardless of your platform. Because we tried it on Xbox. And you will have 30 fences as a Watson. Again, this will probably get fixed really soon. But still super crazy. I have no idea how this one happened. And lastly, we're going to have our hot topic for today's video, and that is going to be about the Prowler. Now, Season 10 launched pretty good with everything being fairly balanced, and there really hasn't been anything super OP. The new stuff is pretty good, the Rampage and Seer, pretty good, um, both really fun to use. Might be a little bit OP, might be a little bit of a nerf, but overall, everything's been pretty good. Now, of course, we have the Prowler coming out of the care package onto the ground. Cloud9, Zach Mazer, he made a tweet about the Prowler. Now this has a lot to do with aim assist and controller versus M and K players over on PC. I'm not going to make this an aim assist debate. I'm going to talk about the Prowler. The Prowler is a very good gun and super cheap in Arena Two. Only 450. That's cheaper than the R9, the Volt, the R301, the Flatline. It's cheaper than all of those. And this gun is literally comes straight out of the care package. It does the same damage. The only nerf it's received is there's more time between bursts, and it went from 0.2 to 0.24. That's not a lot. So pretty much you deck this thing out. It's exactly the way it was in the care package. I mean, it does the same damage. It's almost just as fast. It's almost an exact copy. And a lot of people have been asking for it to be nerfed. I don't know. I think it's okay for now. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.